Group beds can be extremely challenging and exhausting to ride in, but also a lot of fun. Creek beds tend to be environmentally sensitive areas, so focus on your skills in terms of minimising wheel spin. Body positioning is critical to mastering creek beds. Keep your legs bent and apart. When they are bent, this will help to soak up the bumps and achieve a smoother ride. And when your legs are apart, you're more likely to be able to recover from the bike slipping sideways without putting a foot down. Keep your body positioning toward the rear when possible. This keeps the front light and able to skip from rock to rock and allows an easier recovery if the front wheel is deflected. It also provides extra traction for the rear wheel as it increases the footprint of the rear tyre if you are running reasonably low pressures. Maintain momentum as much as possible let your body move around a lot in response to the bike's movements. Usually the moment you start to have trouble in creek beds, it will probably be because of incorrect body positioning. Keep your turns, throttle and clutch control very smooth. Any jerky responses are likely to dislodge rocks and ensure a foot going down on the ground. Riding in a higher gear and slipping the clutch will help a lot with this. Always ride with one finger on the clutch and front brake levers. Two strokes can be trickier in creek beds due to their snappy response, but small blips of the throttle, a higher gear and slipping the clutch will usually help to keep traction. Ride too slow and the rocks will start to bounce you around too much. It will be harder to recover from front wheel deflections and you'll probably have traction problems too if you are always in first gear. But ride too fast and you'll push beyond your skill levels and end up out of control. You'll also probably have to hang on too tightly and wear yourself out in the process. If there are sheets of water, you can wheelie through these to avoid the front wheel being deflected by hidden obstacles. Once the water gets quite deep though, it's probably best to slow down enough so that you can see if there are any hidden logs or large rocks. A common problem is fixating on the rocks just in front of your front wheel, but you constantly need to look ahead to pick your lines in creek beds. Pick your line carefully to ensure as smooth a path as possible. But if you do get offline, don't panic, as you'll be surprised at the size of rocks you can hit and ride over if you apply all these skills. Remember to watch the line your rear wheel will take if turning over rocks, and to back off the throttle if there's a large rock your rear wheel can't avoid. And if you can pick a good line around water puddles, Try doing this to keep your tyres dry for better traction. Ready to challenge yourself? Try riding creek beds deliberately slowly. This will exercise your balance, body positioning and clutch throttle control to the max. Look for wet moss covered rocks to really put yourself to the test. Normally you want to pick as straight a line as possible through a creek bed, but just for the hell of it, try increasingly tight corners to test all of your skills. <laughs>